Blog Talk Radio. shows is completely on limits here. I'm going to bring on our first guest we're really fortunate to have. Welcome to the show, 936. Yes, God bless you, Dr. John. God bless you here for Triple X Radio. So what, what, what is it exactly that you're discussing here today? Well, it's kind of a introductory episode to Triple X Radio, pe- letting people know what Triple X Radio is going to be about. We're kicking off live one to two hour shows on November 3rd, and I'm going to bring over guests like I did on the Dr. John show, but Triple X Radio is going to feature people you know, like yourself and like Nature Boy and um, pretty much everyone that was kicked off of W Daily's network of sorts. And then uh, a bunch of others, like Aberys is going to have a Wednesday spot, and uh, it's going to be a great platform. So tonight is just a hello, you know, mixed with comedy and whatever else we'll, we'll be doing. But we're just saying hello to the universe, that we're here and, and we're excited about our new network. Yes, yes, very, very excited about the the great things here at, at Triple X. And the, uh, the, what does the Triple X stand for? I'm not, I'm not really really understanding the, the, the uh, triple X. Triple uh, X is is uh, a designator for adult, you know, adult entertainment. It normally means, you know, something can have an R rating and that, you know, it may have sexual content, but triple X normally is like your Cinemax and your, your more forbidden thing. So triple X radio is a show that isn't afraid to delve into those topics and it doesn't mean that the whole show is raunchy and doesn't mean that it's uh it just means there is no raunchy really it just means we talk about whatever we want to talk about and it has a, a focus on you know adult entertainment and uh matters of the other side all right all right amen amen i i'm 
I'm all for it, to, you know, diving into those forbidden topics and getting down to the nitty-gritty. Yes. So let's talk oh. about love. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about witness and freakiness and booty and pantyless. I think yeah. that I think the best the best thing about our show is since we're broadcasting at three AM, everybody else that's on the air right now is like doing hour of power prayer and daily devotions and we're here to just we're right on the front page of BTR saying we're here and we're something a little different. Oh yes, okay. yes, and that's what we need. We got a little too much of that prayer stuff going around here on 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 3 a.m. Blog Talk Radio. We need uh, a show to dive into the <laughs> the the hidden holes of 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 life. And you can't you can't jump straight from. Desert Rose Radio into praying. You got to have a an icebreaker beforehand, and that's what we're, we're gonna be. Oh yes, yes. Got to have something to to make you mini fresh. I heard Ooh. uh I heard Bat Sub Girl getting you pretty worked up. Oh yeah, oh the, 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 yeah. That, that's that's a that's a tough woman there. Woo. Oh, you were gonna give some no divine more. inspiration over at her house. Oh, yeah, she wants some divine something. I don't know about inspiration. I think she wants some divine touching and caressing and licking. and whew. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Whew. Oh, Lord. Yeah, she is. I know uh, Books for Knowledge has a very sexy voice. Oh, 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 uh, I think she, uh, uh, oh, no, is she here? She uh, just showed up in the room, yeah. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, is she going to call in? Oh, God, hope, I hope so. I hope she calls in. We're going to get to 918. You're on the air with XXX Radio. First of all, I'm on my knees. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> First communion. I'm on my knees. <laughs> Yep. Wait. Okay. We went back and muted her. She didn't know she was on the air. I don't think. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll wait. How do we know when a hand goes up? Does it show a little icon or something? Uh, it should show some sort of little orange dot. Or okay. This is uh, a, we're new to this new studio configuration. Yeah. 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 Back when I was here before, it wasn't so. Uh, so complicated now it's uh oh yeah Ooh. should we go secretly eavesdrop and just listen hey we could all right hold on <laughs> where did my vodka go oh did you hide my vodka no you did over there somewhere she is totally drunk huh you were making she doesn't even know she's on the air. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet I, I bet she's got some some, some lesbian love making going on over there. It sounds like she's actually getting getting into it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Reverend, I think we might have Intruded on her fornication. We're catching it live in the act, her making love. Yes, live in the act. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Get the collection plate out. <laughs> she just said she's getting laid. <laughs> oh my god. Did you find the vodka? No, I didn't want it. Ah! You put it in the wrong pack. I did? Oh, I don't look because I don't have my undies on. The secret is we don't want to give her a heads up. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm scuffing her somewhere. What the hell is she 
hell did I do with it? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> no, put the okay, box in out. <laughs> she's on her bog again. Now she just needs to make it back to the bed. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> How much did you hear? Um, we... Nothing. You didn't hear nothing. about my undies, did you? No, we didn't hear about your undies, no. Okay. How are you? What are you over there doing? You sound like you're yeah, out of breath <laughs> and in need of a special well, touch. Yeah. I feel really good. I could use a special touch from my wow. vibrator. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Maybe I need a, um, um, another communion moment. Maybe. Oh. You can go home. Hold on, I gotta fix Ooh. myself a drink. You can say hi. You can say hi. Hello? Hey, hello. hello. Ooh. Triple X Radio. Hey. Hey, hi. I'm, too. Hi. I'm the sober one. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Doing very good. Yeah. Very well. How do you feel about adult entertainment? Um. I feel that I can find it for free online from time to time. There you go. That, yeah. yeah. Dr. Yeah. John Magazine is free. Huh? Very good. Very good. Sounds like you guys are having a, a great time. Well, she is. I'm getting ready to head out. <laughs> so, I'm going to go home. So. Oh. And give you some mood music. Mood music. Why, why? So I have have a good mood on the way on my drive home. Yes, we want you to have okay. a good ride on your way home. All right. Well, oh, make yeah. sure my car, good ride. Make sure my car is very happy. <laughs> You're not my taking car the phone. Needs to be happy. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. Here. Yeah. Let's keep it zipped up. There you go. All right. Here, here's here's so. my friend. <laughs> Hello. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. Hey. So, what did you have on your right. Well, I have this dress that's got a zipper. And it goes all the way oh, down. Okay. Kind of a, and those fun dresses, you know? Yeah. <coughs> I have this cough. I'm going to turn this light off. So, did you get your next drink? Uh, sure did. No, I certainly did. Mm. See if the Reverend can exercise any of your needs. <laughs> Let me take a bath. And light some candles. Wow. You got the rose petals too? Mm, no. Just some hot mm. steaming water. Some candles for me. Oh, wow. So what is your ultimate bath tub fantasy? How about you say oh. your testimony of that? I messed up my eye makeup. Oops. Oh, my God. Oh, I messed them up. What was my what? What is your ultimate hot, steamy bath tub fantasy? Hmm. That I haven't had yet? Wow. Cool. Dr. Tom, let me have to turn it over to you. <laughs> you alone in the tub with the lights down and the candles lit. Sounds very inviting. We're happy to keep you company during the bath. Cool. I've had lots of fun in the bathtub. There used to be this one hotel I loved to go to. The bathtub was like big enough for four people. And we'd have lots of fun. So. Four people? Woo. Mm -hmm. It was huge. It took forever to fill up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, 
whether it would you, is it safe to say there's lots of hands wandering and lots of touching and caressing under the water? And candles, with the lit candles and music and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Two couples, eight on, four mouth. You know. So it was a bath so dirty that you might have needed a shower afterwards. Yeah. You know, on the dirt, you just can't watch off. <laughs> Anybody who would like to call in and join the bath tub, you can do so at 323-693-3840. This water is hot. I am really drunk this time, Reverend Morris. I am really, really fucking drunk. Is it okay to say that word here? Because I'm sorry, because I didn't speak to ask. No, it's, it's Triple X Radio for a reason. You can say whatever you would like. Um, so do you have an oral fixation, Dr. John? This is Dr. John, right? Yeah, it is. I, uh, yeah, I like giving oral. I definitely like giving it very much. Well, I like to receive. How about that? Mmm, mm, sounds great. Candle. To go downstairs and get some more candles. So when you're going I downstairs you right guys now, are you, secret. you're naked? Oh, naked, yeah, that's true. I've so been doing secret? some research on a script that I'm writing for Showtime. I really mm -hmm. am a writer. That's awesome. Uh, six cam workers. That's cool. Why I used to do that. that. How I got my Did start you? in adult entertainment was being on on webcam. What do you do now? Uh, now I manage an adult magazine. I still take calls. I still occasionally go on cam, but I work a lot in uh, videos, like specialized design videos and themes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm basing my script off of a couple of girls, and I mean, I can't make this crap up. It's just too good. It's really good. This is really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel really wonderful right now. So let's, let's try and give a mental image to our listeners. Are you are you naked in the bathtub now? Mm -hmm. I hope I don't drop the phone again. Last time I couldn't read the color ID. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't drop the phone, but if you do happen to drop the phone, Gigapig Studios will reimburse you for a new phone. Uh -huh. Hopefully it's not an iPhone 5. Uh -huh. So are there, are there bubbles in the tub? No. Okay, so no bubbles, no, so if we're standing above you, we could just see I do love naked, asphalt, so. your naked, glistening body in the clear water. Mm-hmm. I still need to fix my nails. I always wear, like, a horror red color, you know? A horror red it's color? Yeah, horror yeah. red. I like wearing red. Mm. I think the reverend has to be silent right now because he, he might be taking care of some devotional work. Well, he has a wife and he loves yes. his wife. Yes, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in deep thought. Yeah. Are you? Yes, very mm -hmm. deep thought. I'll be Did you know I did sex cams? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to bring on Aberyst. You're in the air. 
Wow, I got yeah, a but... music face play. Hey, how's it going? Hey. <sighs> so who's on the line with, with you? Our special guests today are, is it Bathtub Girl? I've been formally known as Bathtub Girl, yes, that's just true. All right. So you can call bathtub... me Angela. Angela. So we've got special guest Angela, we've got Reverend Todd Smith, yourself, and me. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Welcome so, to the talk. I mean, yeah, cool. You got like a new uh, a new show, a new format and everything. Yeah, I um mm-hmm. I just thought Dr. John was going way more political than I wanted to go and I want a platform where I can have lots of different people from adult entertainment come on and right. it's not fair to have them come on under the Dr. John when really it should just be XXX radio, so Yeah. I'm excited. Okay, about it. That, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I was. Uh, you, you gave me a, a call earlier today and invited me to do a show on the XXX radio station. So I guess I'll be doing that starting. I don't know, early November. Yeah, we go. We go full live November third, and the website's looking decent. And then um, we're hoping that we can do a couple pre-shows to kind of introduce people. So I know we're getting um, Prankville in there, and then hopefully you, and I reached out to a couple other people that were kicked off of the other person's show that I won't mention. And um, Yeah. Hopefully well, they're I receptive. I was 404 That was I was actually, I was talking to, uh, to John, I don't know if it was yesterday or today or whatever, I was saying, you know, I, I heard about that. Like, I've kind of been away from Prankville for, or not Prankville, from the BTR for about a week, but I heard, like, Prankville got kicked off and some other shows, and, like, I started hearing rumors of why, and I was like, that's complete bullshit. Like, it, it's just a complete bullshit reason for me for these these shows to, to get kicked off, you know? Yeah, so it's cool it's that you're, right. you're bringing something back. I don't know. Did you lose your show too, Angela? I got. I hope the vodka and the the water didn't like drown her or something. <laughs> no, she's quiet though, and the water stopped. Oh, there's some splashing. Well, that might that might be her trying to get her head above the water. Angela, are you okay in the bathtub? I gotta go downstairs and help her find a mouth. Okay. So I have a towel on. Oh, but yeah, nice. I would like to be on that network, maybe, possibly. Yeah, please. That that would be great. What day would you be thinking about? Um, we can talk about it. Negotiate. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I always have ideas. Profitable ideas. So did you leave some out? Earlier, we caught a bathtub right. girl. <clears throat> Unexpectedly, she didn't have her hand up, and we unmuted her mic, and it sounded like she finding pleasure. Oh, okay. Was she upset that you, like, unmuted her mic, or was she cool okay. with it? <laughs> she was cool with it. She's very oh, inebriated. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah, it was part of it. Like, I, I know she's drinking vodka. <laughs> It was an honest mistake that turned out to be really funny because after we, we realized what was going on, we couldn't help but keep it unmuted. Right. Well, I mean, did you guys find out if she's drinking anything with the vodka? I mean, does she have cranberry juice in it or something? Uh, we'll have to wait for her to get back on the line and figure out what's in her okay. drink. But that was that bath was quick, almost too quick. I think it was like five minutes. It's a, it's just a lot of water to run for five-minute bath. Yeah, well, I, I mean, yeah, running the water took longer than the bath. It did. I wonder, I almost wonder what was going on there. I want to say hi to everybody in the room out here for our first show. Um, Aberyst, of course, Books for Knowledge, Desert Rose, Buy Game 25, Franklin USA, and I guess I'll shout out myself to Dr. John. Thank you for coming to our first show. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was over. We were. No. Yeah. No. I just, 
I want to get it in there before I forget. I always feel super bad if I end the show and I forget to shout out all the thank yous to the listeners. Yeah, I think last night I, I don't know, I, I said, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult for me, and I think I kind of cut you off. You didn't get all that stuff in before the show ended. Oh, no worries. Yeah. But, uh, you know, today was today was a better day. I slept a lot. I'm, I'm in, like, that hypersomnia phase. You know, which is, I don't know, it, it, I think it helped a little. That's good. Yeah. So, but, I mean, anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I, You know, when I started my show on uh, BTR a year ago before I took a break, I think I did like eight shows. I was like, ah, fuck this. Took a break for a year. But uh, originally I, I had a, a female co-host, Renee, and the show was kind of more uh, more graphic. And for some reason, I don't know, I kind of got away from it after the first, you know, two or three shows. And I don't know, maybe I'll go back to that format or maybe I'll be like the one more political show on Triple X Radio. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that'll be that'll be cool. I'm excited to just give people a platform that says, here's a time slot, um, you know, pick, pick what time works for you, and then, you know, you don't have to pay for it, just have fun with it and let it be yours and yeah, I'm I'm excited about that. that sounds awesome. Yeah. Well, so what was if if you're back, Angela? Let me ask you: Were you making like white Russians or like what, what exactly were you mixing with the vodka, if anything? Just oranges. Oh, she's making mm-hmm. screwdrivers. Yeah, just old school. Do you uh, use yeah, good works. orange juice or do you use like just I don't know? There's a difference. There's like Minute Maid, and then there's um Simply Orange. Well, it was um, it wasn't Minute Maid. It wasn't. It was like uh, in this little, like organic. It was um, good quality. It wasn't the. <sighs> it was good orange juice. It was good vodka. Oh, good. You sound I you sound de- definitely really really relaxed. <laughs> it's not the type that I'm gonna hurt for three days, you know. All right, that's good. You I still remember your towel or? hooking my body up with this body <laughs> cream, and it smells so good. Mm-hmm. Out of the bag mm-hmm. and onto the body cream. Nice. Smells like oranges. <laughs> So how long is your show for? It is over in two minutes and 15 seconds, but starting no. November 3rd, it'll be an hour or two. Okay. Absolutely. Mm. So is, is that how she got her nickname, Bathtub Girl? Like you take bathtubs on BTR, her bath? Well, what happened, to make it quick, is I called into this conservative show and the lady didn't like my viewpoints because and I was in the bathtub, and she started going, "Well, bathtub girl this and bathtub girl that," and I sat there in my bath water and I was like, oh, "I like that bathtub girl." And this is before I googled the word bathtub girl, and so I just used that handle, bathtub girl, because I liked the sound of it, and I was in the bathtub a lot because it helps me with my lupus. So, I mean, was she upset at your your Viewpoints, or was she just upset that you were in the bathtub? She didn't like them. No, she did not like them at all. She was like, "Bathtub girl dance," and that kind of met in that inflection, actually. And bathtub girl dance. I she wasn't happy, you know. But it was just a difference of opinion. That's all. (laughs) I don't know. I think when you get a show, that should be a character on your show. I think Mm -hmm. so for sure. The cranky. Well, I mean, I, my friend downstairs, she's um, typing on my books for knowledge thing, and you know, she has multiple personalities. I'm going to have her come on my show, and because I'll never know who comes on the show. I mean, that should be interesting. And then there's Jerry, the UPS man, who wants to call in. And I've done major market radio before, so I, don't know, I want to play with it and have some fun. Yeah, you have the voice but, for it. That's for sure. Why? Thank you. And Todd's very talented. He is very talented. I wish he would contact SNL. I keep telling him to contact somebody because 
his characters are <laughs> really so good. good. It's hard for me not to laugh though when when I play off of him, you know, like when I say, I'm on my knees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's wild. I don't have the control right. he does. We're going into overtime here on Blog Talk Radio, so I'm gonna say thanks everybody and then um we'll touch base and see who can do what on, on the show and I look forward to working with you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, good night. All right, bye. Blog Talk Radio. Should have been on 
SNL or something, so it was just it was a blast to listen to. And that was um, Reverend Duguid. And I have a clip of, of him over on YouTube that um just amazingly funny. And it's it's making light of, you know, things that we otherwise are very serious and, and uptight about. Uh, Wednesday, I'm looking to do a show on discrimination and um, <clears throat> the different things that go along with that. That's going to be a Wednesday show, and we're hoping to have an Aberth on for that one. But a lot of changes, a lot of changes going on in that department, that's for sure. So. I think another thing that we've been looking at really heavily, we did two presidential debate reviews. And um, we did one with Abrith. And we did another 30 minute show. And we had a, a bunch of guests on for that one. And it was looking at how uh, presidential candidate Romney flips around topics quite a bit and changes stance on them and just flip flops and goes back and forth, which is kind of a joke. <clears throat> so that part was, was something that we were addressing. And then we addressed, of course, how President Obama came out stronger in a second debate. But, uh, lots, to, lots to look at. So for anybody interested, I will leave the link to our uh, new web home of sorts that's being built. It's not, of course, 100% at this point, but uh, gives you a good overview of uh, what we're going to be getting into. One of the things that, that we're looking at is um, there's a documentary, and it's based on the life of Larry Flint. He is the publisher of Hustler magazine and battled with the Supreme Court over freedom of speech. And one of his big things was, you may not like what I say, and it may be totally absurd, but I have a right to say it. And I couldn't agree more. I think freedom of speech is one of the last, I don't know, sacred God-given rights that we should have. And it's it's something that we should cherish, too, because it doesn't exist everywhere. Not everybody has freedom of speech. They, if you take China, for instance, do a lot of censoring of, of what's coming in and out of there. And uh, you're not allowed to say what you want. You're not allowed to say what you think. And if you're not the popular view or you're not agreeing with people, then you're ousted. I'm going to take a look at the call board here, and I think this is our reverend guest we've been waiting for. 936, John the Air, it's Dr. John Show. Yes, yes, this is the reverend Todd Morris here, live with you tonight. God bless you, and thank you for extending the, the invitation for the reverend to come here on your program tonight. God bless you. You are welcome. I wondered if the people in the chat room knew that our, our sexual healing store was real, that they could actually support your efforts and come out with some good lubes and healing toys, but I, I think they might have thought it was a prank, so I don't know. Oh, the, the, the toys for joy are toys all too real, doctor. All too real. So I, at one point, um, previously back a couple of months ago, were you were you in desert dating, or what happened there? <laughs> well, I I apologize. I apologize. Uh, uh, no, me and me and Desert Rose have never seen. Uh, she is happily married to. Uh, a a good friend of mine, the the nature boy, uh, but uh, no, me and me and Desert have never dated. Although she is a a a very fine fine woman. Don't oh, you think, Doctor Doc? <clears throat> she is very attractive, that's for sure, and she has a very sweet um, down home approach to her show. I really like listening to her show. I know uh, Nikki was telling me that she's in an open relationship, and I think she could benefit from some of your healing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you are in, in any kind of open relationship, you are just right for our Toys for Joy campaign 
Again, as I said, just head over to com. You can find all of our toys there. We have some big, some small, some thick, some wide, some green, some blue, some 6 inches, 8 inches, 12 inches, whatever fits your hole. We will be more than happy to stuff it with one of our toys for joy. How yes. do you go about blessing the toys? Well, after the toys have been made and after they have been uh, uh, packaged, then we have a special uh, divine prayer over these, over these toys that are sent out to homes all across the world. They are blessed that they would be pleasure uh, to the body, healing to the mind, uh, excitement to the eye. Uh, we pray that these toys will minister to the lives of couples open, closed, everywhere, everywhere. So if a, if a gentleman who's in a relationship is thinking about cheating, he might get, say, a pocket pussy, and that pocket pussy ends up saving his marriage because he doesn't cheat. A pocket what? A, a pocket vagina. Oh, oh, vagina, vagina. I didn't, I didn't know it by that other phrase. Whew. Hold on, let me get my handkerchief here. Oh, that, that caused me to break on it in a sweat there. Yes, I will pocket vaginas. Yes, if, if any man out there listening, under the sound of the reverend's voice, if you are thinking about committing the act of adultery, think about it no more. You don't have to go and spend your money on some cheap hooker. No, you can spend your money on a toy for joy that will satisfy all of your sexual needs if your wife just can't get the job done. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. And Nikki Smokes a lot is saying that Jenna Jamison has one that you can buy, and we, uh, we actually have the Jenna Jamison one in our store. Yes, so, Jenna and Jameson, it's a good Yes, Missionary Jamison, she is, she is such a fine young lady outside of those very dirty, dirty and filthy videos that she is involved in. She is a very heartfelt woman who loves the Lord, and she loves the Reverend. Yes, and you, you can love her toys. We have them a part of the Toy for Joy line, all at com. Yes, praise the Lord for Sister Jameson. I think I think you're you're bringing you're bringing light to a great important issue that is there's such this despair and light that goes on about adultery and so much adultery can be prevented just by learning how to pleasure yourself more and just yes, releasing yes, getting absolutely into the right absolutely urges. right Deacon Doctor John so much adultery can be stopped in our great nation today uh, adultery is the number one cause of divorces, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, look it up. Look it up. Adultery is the number one cause for a divorce. And the Bible even tells us clearly that the only means for divorce, if you are going to do it God's way, would be if your partner commits adultery. Well, your partner does not have to worry about committing adultery anymore. If you just can't squeeze one out for your man, ladies, then you Come to the toy for joy. I mean, practically come. Come to the toy for joy line at gigapig.com, and I guarantee you, your man will be putty in your hands. God bless you. Yes, yes. So where are your gospels going to take you over the winter and up till Christmas? Do you have any type of preaching schedule or places that you're going to be visiting around the world? I know you're a very, very busy guy. Yes, yes, very, very busy. They're already booking me all across the nation for uh, conventions and tours and crusades. I will be in Texas uh, this month. I will actually be in Oklahoma in, in just a little while from now. I, I am actually in the limousine now, uh, headed to Oklahoma for a special crusade there uh, a little later on tonight. And God is just blessing us. We're going to be in California. Uh, the first week of November, and uh, we will be headed over to Australia for the holiday season 
and bringing some joy to the men and women there in, in, in Crocky country. Yes, so please be on the lookout for the Reverend Todd Morris coming to a convention hall or a cheap motel near you. Yes, God bless you. Yes. <coughs> motel 6. Yes, Motel 6 there in Australia. We'll be there. Uh, limited seating. Limited seating. We'll have some live demonstration for the Toy for Joy line. Uh, yes, some live sexual demonstration. And, uh, yes, a lot of healing and delivering and personal one-on-one -on -one touching and caressing. Yes, because we like to do that. Yes. It sounds like a, a group healing session that will It'll pleasure everyone and um, lift up their spirits in the during the whole oh, yeah. season. Yes, yes. Spirits need to be lifted. Spirits, skirts, songs, they all need to be lifted. And we will be doing quite a lot of lifting, Dr. John. I hope you're ready. I am. I think, it, I think it's going to be good. And I think you have a good platform because when you normally donate to church, then you don't really get anything back. But with our church, there's there's definitely, you're getting something back, something physical that you can hold on to and keep for years to come. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Normally when you get to these rotten, filthy churches and ministries, you don't get anything but a pamphlet. But we go that extra mile. You give to us for easy payment of forty nine ninety five, and we give you a supply, lifetime supply of love and happiness. Oh, yes, love and happiness. You know a lot about love, don't you, Dr. John? Oh, shit. You know, I do. I've got um, over seven years' experience in the adult entertainment industry. I used to make adult movies, and um, I've been in that, that walk of life. Someone is saying that uh, it's disturbing to mix sex and religion, but really, I think that there should be more mixing of sex and religion in that yes, we should be, yes. we should be comfortable... Well, it's not me saying that. That's um, Ascot Cain saying that. Oh, yes, yes. Of course, of course, uh, uh, Ascot Cain has to always be critical uh, of the reverence tactics. Uh, but the Lord knows what he's doing, and the Lord doesn't make any mistakes, and neither does the reverence. Neither does the reverence. Yeah, I just think, I think that a lot of marriages could be saved by a, a healthier sexual relationship between partners and with yourself. I think that's where a lot of people mistake it is that you can have a good sexual relationship with yourself and you need to be good at pleasing yourself before you can be good at pleasing someone else. Yes, preach about it. Preach about it, Dr. John. See, this man is smart. Y'all need to listen to Dr. John. This man knows what he's talking about. You have to know how to please yourself before you can please others. Yes, do unto others as you do to yourself. Ain't that what the good book say? Yes. Tell I think it does, God. and I think, I think it, you know, the Bible talks about some in some paragraphs an eye for an eye, and I think that we need to be more focused on the love and uh, healing that can come within that, and that uh, you have a great platform. Yes, yes, and you, Dr. John, have been so graceful and, and, and so gracious to allow us to use uh, uh, such a great platform as com for our Toy for Joy line. And it, you are just fabulous. You have opened your arms to our ministry. And, and, and yes, I see someone in the chat room who says, educate with porn. Uh, but uh, we don't like to call it porn here. We like to call it power. Power. Yes. <laughs> Power. Educate with power. Yes. Absolutely. Now, oh, go ahead. I know ahead. we're trying to get you over to our network for uh, XX Radio that's coming out November 3rd, and we want you to do like an hour on there every week, just an hour addressing the people and, you know, flocking your sheep towards you and embracing them and, and helping them learn these messages so that they can grow and find peace and love and happiness and fulfillment. Oh, yes, I will be more than happy 
to to help out with any project that you are needing my help with. So yes, you can you can put me down for certain on November the third. I will be a part of Triple X Radio, and yes, spreading the message of power. Yes, Amen, Amen. All of the outlets that God can open for us, we will accept them. Yes, God bless you, Doctor John. We've got 10 minutes left, and we're going to take any callers that would like to call in, 909-533-8302. You can get a brief blessing from the Reverend. Yep. Very brief, and very brief. If you would like an extended blessing, <laughs> yes, extended. there is a charge. <laughs> yes, but we can extend, and I mean a lot of extending. Yes. I just, I gotta, <clears throat> I have to interject because I obviously cannot keep a straight face. So a couple of days ago, I was watching Blog Talk Radio, and it was 5 in the morning, and everybody else I love was off the air, like Crankville and Desert Rose and Vince in the Bay and everybody, right? So, yep. <clears throat> excuse me, I go and look at uh, the show, and it's called Queen Mother. And I'm going on, and she's talking about peace and love and, and, uh, just, you know, all this stuff. And I go in and I look at her website, and the front page is her and this, oh, man, it was uh, her in this priestess gown saying that she's a, a mother high priestess, and she's an actual show on, on Blog Talk Radio. And um, then I go to her page, and an initial consultation through email is ninety nine ninety five, and she's a, she's a real person, like really taking money from people. Like, this show is kind of for jokes and giggles and, <clears throat> and, and obviously your real work that you're doing. But this, oh, yes, yes. This lady was just exploiting people, and then at the very bottom it said, if you do not get results, there's no refund. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ninety nine, no. ninety five. You see, people, why go to all of these high priest of ponies out here that are on the radio, and, and even we have preachers on TV who are telling you, Oh, call me now for your free oil, and then they send you some cheap used uh, uh, red Kool-Aid in a bottle that don't do nothing for you. Why? Why waste your time and your money when you can pay me? Oh, 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 oh I found her. I found her. I found her link so you can see it. And Did like you? all the yeah, yeah, I'm putting it in the chat room right now. <clears throat> so that's what kind of kicked this off for me. So this Nutrispirit Talk Radio is a venue for self-improvement through the understanding and use of ancient practices and prayers, such as spiritual readings, a.k.a. Uh, divinia, psychic readings, meditation, healing. So I go through all this stuff, and I was like, oh, this lady's really cool, and she's really trying to do something positive on Blog Talk Radio, right? And then I start seeing the payment buttons all over her website, and I'm like, really? But, um... I bet she's making a good racket on it. I was, I was actually wondering if she just went to eBay and bought the costume or what she did. Because <laughs> she, she, she seemed to giggle every time she mentioned uh, the payments. Like, I'm, yeah. Anyway, so her link's <laughs> in the chat room right now, and she made me just laugh and want to cry. But what kind of wicked costume does this, does this <laughs> pony have all. It's, it's, it's orange and she's got scarves and a hood and uh, it sounds like witchcraft to me. <laughs> oh, you saw her hood? She's got, the, she's got the hood and the double cross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. She one up you. <laughs> like, seriously, her, her act is like I don't know. I think I, I think it'd be a close tie between you and her. I think you should come and call into her show and do prayer. Yeah, I with will. Her. When is her next broadcast? Let's let's see. When is? Oh, she don't have one scheduled. Oh, I am going to find her. She had one. It looks like every Saturday. She's on the air. So yes, this Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, you can look for the Reverend Todd Morris. On this fake and phony show, New Spirit Talk Radio. <laughs> I'm so there. I'm coming. I'm going to come to <laughs> She's the queen mother of the temple of Pier NTR, the house of the 
Brooklyn, most high in Brooklyn, New York. She's from Brooklyn. I wonder why she's trying to get ninety nine, ninety five. Anybody who lives in Brooklyn probably needs it. She's oh, a very man. No, she's you a vegetarian, a martial North artist. North. Personally endorse any guest or product or service and therefore liability for actions to anyone. Consult with licensed professional in all areas of your undertaking. I'll bet. But she endorses her ninety nine ninety five package of, of an email. And I thought, oh, ninety nine ninety five, what do you get? And she, you get one response from her, and it can take up to three days to get the response. Up to three days, and you'll probably never hear from her. <laughs> Probably not, and there's no refunds. This is horrible. Horrible. Uh, a fraud. A fraud that Reverend Morris must address. I will be addressing this on my first episode tomorrow, and I will be confronting this woman next Saturday night. I, I wish I would have known about it yesterday or the day before. Uh, and I... I want to mention really briefly, because this is going on the archives and then it's going up to YouTube tonight, I'm looking for um, anybody who would like to send in either independent music clips or clips of them on their radio show that they, they found funny, and I'm going to mix it into a video um, that's called the Best of Blog Talk Radio, and it's going to be going up on YouTube. And uh, you can email your clips. Uh, to the Dr. John at gmail.com and then I've got an editor I'm going to use to put them all together so if you would like to do anything like that and submit your clip you can do so just send it over to the Dr. John at gmail.com and um, I want to thank the Reverend yes and yes. Um, God bless you doctor hopefully God we can get you over to XXX radio at 3 a.m. are you still up for that oh yes yes all right, yes. so we will see all of you at 3 a.m. This is going to be the debut of our XXX radio, and it's going to be triple X. I can promise that. Yes, yes. Maybe, maybe we better invite Nature Boy over there. We might need Nature Boy because I don't know if we don't want to offend you with the adult material that's going to be coming out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, be sure to put up a, a, a special link here in the chat room for... Triple X Radio, and uh, everyone can can be sure to go and and listen to that. And the Reverend will will do a little research, and hopefully at 3 a.m. Uh, the Reverend will be making a crusade stop there at Triple X Radio. All right, I'm gonna put the link in the chat room right now, and then uh, we're going on at 3 a.m. Thanks to everybody who listened. Special thanks out to Nikki Smokes a lot, <laughs> Joe Kernis. Books for Knowledge, Prankly USA, Stabby McHugs, and everyone else that listened by dialing. Thanks very much, and you guys have a great day.